Welcome back, Saints Nation, to another stream. I am Patrick Smoke Chambers, joined by... Uh, Theo, known as the Holy Juan. And we are back tonight for a Nace Cod doubleheader. It's going to be St. Clair going up against Cumberland University, then followed by St. Clair versus Oklahoma Christian. So, again, it's going to be a great night. Cod doubleheader. Theo, you excited for this or what? Yeah, I mean... All these teams are going to be very, very good. These names are well known in the COD scene. Obviously, our Saints looking to take down two big dogs today. It's not going to be easy, but, you know, they definitely have it in them to take the games today. Yeah, I mean, I've casted uh, COD a fair bit in the first year that I was here. And I will say that these two teams were always able to drive our Saints to, I guess, uh, really give them a run for their yeah. money, right? I mean, I've seen them take games off of our squad before. Maybe not this exact lineup, but I've seen them take games off of our squad before. I think it's going to be a very close one. Yeah, I have to agree with you. I don't think it's going to be a wash like the Saints usually uh, expect to do. But yeah, it's going to be a tough two matches today. Definitely going to look to start off hot and start with a bang early on the first hard point. But, you know, they're really good in these respawn type of game modes. It's just going to be important if they can play well in those search and destroys, take those uh, games. That would be huge for them today. Yeah, I was going to say, you can really tell how this series is going to go, especially if we get a hard point taken off of us. Not yeah. usually one that we see going in the other direction. Saints usually very dominant in those respawn game modes as you were just talking about. I think those search and destroy games are going to be so dope to see because that's honestly, if you're going to make the Saints drop a game, as far as we've seen, it's usually S&D that it's yeah. going to happen. So, again, it'll be interesting to see if these teams can take off the S&D games off of the Saints. And if they take a hard point off of us as well, then, I mean, it could be any one series, especially with a double header. You know, heading into the second series, that Saints lineup may have a little bit of fatigue, right? Sometimes, yeah. you know, the hands don't stay hot for all night. So, you never know, right? I mean, it could really go either way, especially in that second series. That's going to be what I pay attention to closest today. And that's going to be the big test is the mental and also just the fatigue. Can these Saints players go for two series back-to-back -back like that nonstop? We'll see. It's a good way to test this new lineup that we have this yeah, season. Yeah, absolutely. I think uh, if they win the first match, I think they're going to be smooth chilling in the second game. But we're, we're going to have to see what is on the display today. We're going to throw it to a very, very quick uh, break, but we'll be right back with game one. Don't go anywhere.
Welcome back, Saints Nation. Here we go. Enslick, Cootie, Seawads, and Rupers are lining for the Saints on the side of Cumberland. Honor, Cal, Pootie, and Draken. Let's get it started. Cootie and Seawads on the kill board first. Yeah, Saints going to be starting off hot here as Cumberland are going to be falling down. But a couple of Saints going to drop here. Pootie, nice shot there. Seawads looking for something. Gets taken out by the nade of Horror. Cal on one HP. Looking for the pistol around this corner. Can sense that there's a player over there. Cootie gets taken down as Cumberland University going to be taking a bit of control on this point. Now Rupert going to look to jump in with that SMG. Spots out one. Takes him down. Does the trade comes through from Enslea. Now Saints going to be on the point. Cootie will get shot in the side by Draken, but still Saints going to be able to retake control for just a little bit. Right, I mean, that's something the Saints are so good at. It's just trading each other out, right? I mean, ne nearly no picks come untraded when you're facing these Saints, but right now Cumberland trying to see Draken if he can just find the player on the prone angle. Now has to try to slide cancel. He's going to find one, but again, the trade comes back almost immediately. Seawad going to be able to clean that one up. Honor gets another one for his efforts. Seawad's a second as well. He's on a streak of three, and he's going to keep cooking. Yeah, great shots there by Seawad, but in the meantime, it is Cumberland on this hard point. Couple of Saints going to be coming in for the flank. Draken finds one, finds the second. Nice shots there onto Kudi and Ruper. It's going to be Cumberland getting back into the lead here, and they're going to have a lot of time taking up here. Saints do not have good spawns, and it's all red in the kill feed. Kudi finally gets a kill in the Saints away. And Enslaya like going to go for the swing. Finds one, almost finds the second. Going to look for the shots. Nice wow. shots there by Enslaya. One more peeking around that corner. Couple of kills do come back, but Siwaz with a double kill. Going to give control back to Saints as they look to take back the garbage time. Right, I mean, that MC is just so electric with the headshots. Cootie going to be able to whip out the secondary on the Renetti side of things. He's going to be able to find one for his measures. Gets traded out though from Cal. Seawads and Enslea adding to the board. So again, the Saints now back on with control. They're going to be setting down their trophy systems, making sure that no utility can get in. It's going to be Pootie there who gets in on the kill feed as he chops down Enslea. Rupert with a double as well on that rival nine. An SMG that's so good, close range, just cuts through enemies like butter. And now, Saints, they have to try to maintain this control. Seawads on a killing spree of five right now, and he's going to keep on going. Yeah, it doesn't get the good spawns for the side of the Saints, but it's forced out so much time here. You could see Draken just sitting back there, not moving, not moving forward. It's a huge flank from Kuri, though. Picks up one on that flank. Can he find the second? Not too sure. Nobody on the hard point at the moment. Cal will stick in there for a second, and Kuri does go down. But a nice trade from Rupert. Finds a couple with that SMG. And now that's going to give Saints a lot of space to work with. Only one member on the point. It is Pudi. Is anyone going to push this player? There's the push coming through. The turn on from Seawads. Wow. Rough shots there from Pudi. Saints doing a great job of holding on here. They're going to get this garbage time, looks like, and they're still in the lead. Right, and I mean, I liked what I was seeing there out of Pudi, right? I mean, he uses the Semtex just to buy himself enough time to put down the trophy system. You would think that no one's going to push through on that, but then when the push does happen, he's just not ready for it. He can't land the shots. Again, now, Saints, they have to recontrol this hard point now. Cumberland doing a great job of controlling so far. Draken on a 10 piece right now, 10 and 6. Nice. And Cal as well helping him out. The rest, though, they need to catch up, but they're trying to make swift work of it. I will point out, Pudi right now with 48 seconds of objective time leads the lobby right now. He's doing really good in the support role, but now St. Clair have control. We'll see what Cumberland have to do to bite back. Yeah, Cumberland are getting a few shots back. Nacho going to find one on the swing here. Looking for the second can. Find it there, but Saints doing a good job of contesting this one. See, was in this corner has been doing wonders for them. And the swing's going to come through. Rupert finds a couple. Cootie almost picks up the third. One HP on that member. You can see the chase comes through from Seawads. Saints doing a great job on this next hard point, getting almost all the time here as now they look to rotate over to the next one. Right, I mean, right now the big hitter on the side of the Saints, Seawads, 14 and 5 on a three streak right now. And he's got 44 seconds of objective time as well. He's not shying away from getting his nose dirty. And so far he's coming away with nothing but blood on his hands. Now the kill feed looking all red though, painted in red as Cumberland, they find themselves on a three piece and now they can take this hard point control and try to find out where the Saints are spawning in, trying to manage the cross angles. Yeah, Saints gonna have one more opportunity to fight back at this hard point. A one for one trade comes through, but it is Cumberland with the good spawn. Saints taking so much time to get across the map. Nice swing there from Nacho, but Cal is ready for that one. Picks up one. Nice shot there from Rupert, but Draken did find Cootie, and all Saints are falling down. Now Cumberland doing a great job. Looking like they're going to get themselves back into this game. 
right? I mean, you're seeing just what happens when you don't have that trophy system around your back. When you get stunned, your movement just gets absolutely demolished into the ground. You almost can't move. You're like just standing still. And again, it's why these trophy systems are so important. So right now on the side of Cumberland, they're just going to wait this one out. Seven seconds left. I doubt the Saints are really going to try to contest for last second. They're probably going to set up for the next hard point, And that's probably where the rotation is going to come in from. However, no, the next hard point, actually, if you were looking on the minimap, is right by Cumberland. So a really good job from them to just set up. And now they can just hold and take oh. the Saints out on entry. Draken and Honor going to be able to find a couple for their measures. And again, I mean, Honor, I believe he found two as well from the Saints diving in. It's a good job so far and an incredible defense from Cumberland. Yeah, Saints now doing a great job of checking their corners. And yet again, Cal will find one more just waiting for someone to walk through. Nacho going to fall as well. And Seawads dropping. Only Kudi be able to pick up a kill here. Can be on his lonesome. Going to find a second. Rupert finds one as well. Maybe Saints can get a few last ditch seconds here. The swing comes through. Rupert gets it. Saints will pick up the rest of this garbage time as Cumberland look to rotate over to the next point. Right, I mean, this is something you don't usually see. I mean, Cumberland are playing so good. Like we said in the pregame, you know, this is a squad that we do know can take it to our Saints. So right now, you know, Cumberland University, they're doing so well. 145 to 117 and counting on the side of the Saints is your score. Hard point about to close down and we'll see Cumberland. Looks like they've beat the Saints to the rotation and they should have good control. However, that being said, it is going to be Cal who ended up getting picked off, and now it's just going to it's have to Drake be Drekken, all on the point alone, finds Seawalt through the wall, but now the Saints picking up two more, you gotta think that he's not gonna be able to hold the point for very long, gets chopped down, and now it's all Saints control. Yeah, two players looking to swing this corner. Saints just inviting them to do so. They're going to be going up mid here. Rupert on low HP, waiting for someone to swing. Kuri finds a couple. Rupert getting a bit impatient, does fall down, but the trade comes out onto honor from Nacho Slayer. As now the Saints going to get back into this game, looking to take the lead. You can see Seawads is all the way across the map, single handedly going to try and stop the rotations of Cumberland. Picks up a one, but has to be careful. He's going to get run down, does get traded out. Saints will take the lead, will get the garbage time, but Cumberland are the ones setting up for the next point. Right, I mean, you can see it right now. The rotations are trying to come through. It's right now four players on the side of Cumberland who I don't believe they are aware of Cootie's positioning. This is going to be very crucial. Maybe Cootie can able to pick off one, maybe two the second the point has to be cleared. Nacho going to be able to take care of Draken, though. The big hitter, heavy hitter from the side of Cumberland. And there it is. Cootie's going to be able to get through unseen. He unchecked. He takes out Pootie, but then immediately gets picked back up by Honor. Kills going across the board. Rupert, Draken, and Cal with one of their own. And right now, it's just punch-counterpunch as Saints take control yet again. Yeah, Rupert does fall on this point. Looks like Cumberland will be able to take control yet again. But now the Saints are going to be flooding in here. Good spawns are on the side of Cumberland. An aggressive peak there from not who gets taken down. Cootie gets taken down as well. Cumberland looking to take the lead back here. Rupert, though, finds a one. F See, Watts finds one as well. But the trade comes out from Cal. Looks like this point will be secured by the side of Cumberland. But Saints not giving up yet. They will have been collecting this garbage time beautifully so far on this map, but it's been Cumberland who's been finding the first rotations and able to get good setups on these hard points. Right, I mean, cross angles lined up, it doesn't matter. Four people send the house, and that's going to be exactly what they do on the side of the Saints. Right now, the hard point contested. It will be under Cumberland's control for that final second. Oh, it's that a point. big kill. It's very punch-counterpunch. Draken with a couple huge ones on his name. Dancing around the pillar, but he's not going to be able to pick up the 1v2. Again, in a scenario like that, you're pretty much dead oh, to rights. Frank. Cootie being able to take care of him. And <sighs> Slayer as well. Cootie with another one as well. Cootie coming up with some massive picks despite being 16 and 19. It doesn't really matter though because when you're coming up with these big time frags, it's really helping the Saints on the rotations. Absolutely and Saints are very, very close to winning this map out. Kent ended on this hard point but could get very, very close and the spawns have been played perfectly by them. Rupert knows his job. Just looking to stay alive here. Honor doing the exact same thing with Saints are up a member. Cootie going to look for the flying. Rupert finds one. Nacho finds the second and Saints going to get the rest of this hard point time. It's going to be do or die for Cumberland on this last one, see if Saints can get any entry picks into the next a hard point. It's going to be Draken and Cal finding the first few. Draken falls down, but Saints very, very close taking this map, only needing 30 more points. Right, but I mean, look, with three seconds left, you look at the hard points at the top of the map. Cumberland definitely are more in an advantageous position to take this right now. So, yep. again, it's going to be very much punch counter punch like we've seen so far on this map. It's going to come down to the wire right now. The Saints got to figure out a path to make, and they're going to claw their way through. Seawads able to take out Honor, but he's going to get traded back out by Pootie. Pootie, a, a guy who's 
not really having the best game in terms of kills and deaths, but he's got a minute and 40 seconds and counting on that objective. So a great job from him so far, like I said, on that support role. He's really been the guy picking up the points and the hard point for Cumberland, oh, as now Cal's going to be able to rip a double, and Draken's going to be able to save his teammate just in the nick of time. The drop shot from Cootie to pick up one, but he's going to get traded out immediately by Draken. And I mean, on this point, both times Cumberland have done an amazing job of getting the time here, but it looks like they're not on this one. Saints actually getting a bit of control here, but it looks like the re-attack will come through from Cumberland, but Seawaz finds a couple kills as Cootie finds the third. You can see Saints are setting up for this next point. Rupert with a huge kill as well. All of Cumberland forced to reset. They should get this garbage time now, 20 seconds away from taking the map. Rupert does fall down, however. Saints have control of the hard point now. They find the frag here. Cootie with a huge, huge kill as Seawaz finds one. Cootie does get traded out. That's the contest comes through from Apudi in just a second. Cal finds one, but the swing is beautiful from Nacho and Rupert. Three more seconds needed for the Saints. Honor on one HP oh in the side. Can they find the trade? Honor gonna fall down. 248, 249, and just wow. like that, Saints will be able to take the first map. I mean, man, take some time to breathe. I mean, honestly, I'm not done with my breather yet. Honestly, Theo, that was such a, honestly, a close game. Close you know, game. we don't see many teams break that 200 mark against our Saints, but like we piped it up in the pregame, man, this one's going to be a barn burner. It's so close. I want to give a special shout out to Cootie, who again, you know, you see him. Yeah, 22 and 26, obviously he's not in that shiny role like Seawads who dropped the 30 piece. But again, a big thing to keep in track here is the fact that when Cootie was making picks, it wasn't like he was having any empty frags. He was, at, he was picking up picks when they really mattered most. Huge, big time picks that would change like the momentum of a play, right? Maybe he cuts off a cross and it lets the Saints kind of funnel through. Sometimes he's sitting on that other hard point and he's just waiting for the rotation of Cumberland to come in. He picks off two. Sure, he gets traded out eventually, but his three teammates then come in and they clean house and they take in, uh, control of the hard point. It's plays like that that we've seen at Akuti so far this game. You got to hope he keeps up more of that. And honestly, I think it's uh, a player like him is very underestimated, especially when you look at the game. Yeah, sure, the stats may not look beautiful, but when you're watching it in game, he was definitely the difference maker on the side of the Saints on how they were able to take control so easily. Absolutely. He was making sure that they got the best spawns possible and would just sit in those situations, wait for a couple of members to walk by, and every kill matters when you're de in really deep. So a great map from our Saints. They take the first one, but as you said, this definitely won't be an easy one. We're going to throw it to a very, very quick break, but we'll be right back with map two. Don't go anywhere.
And uh, hello, welcome back, everybody. We're getting into game here in a second, and here we are. Welcome to Search and Destroy. Let's flip the game, and uh, here we go. So it's going to be First Blood. Rupert is going to be able to claim it first onto Cal, and Draken as well is going to get cut down by Cootie. Yeah, Saints going to be on the red side here, and it's going to be Cumberland on the green. So Saints are up two kills to one in this round, and they are on the defense here. Cumberland looking for some success here, but you can see Honor just ch chilling with the bomb. Can't push too far in here. Honor might look for a swing here. Throws out a flashbang. Doesn't connect with that one. 40 seconds and counting now for the side of uh, Cumberland. They need to move quickly here. Pudi gonna look for the shots. Finds the head of Siwaz, but Siwaz just staying alive. Beautiful stun there and should be able to find the kill here. Nice shots there from Kuri on the other side. And it's just a three on one now. Only Honor left alive. Has the bomb in hand, but should be nearly impossible to win this round for the side of Cumberland. But is he aware of the player who's sweeping through? No, not quite. And that is going to be first round St. Clair. So a great job there from St. Clair to get the first round, despite what the title says. We do know it is St. Clair. There's Nacho who's going to pick up the final kill with the Renetti. So a great job so far. We did see they had that 3v1. They seemed like they did a really good job on the side of the defense, just controlling their ground, making sure they weren't giving up too much. And uh, again, they're going to just try to keep this one up time and time again when they do go on the defense. So you know, besides swapping and everything like that, I feel like it's a lot harder, I think, to attack. Honestly, yeah. it's very easy to sit back and defend and let the picks come to you. So as long as St. Clair can do a good job of that, we'll see what they have cooking up on the attacking side. For now, Rupert's going to be dropped to low health, but that passive re regen will be able to keep him back up. Seawad's going to be the one to pick up the bomb first, though. Let's see how the Saints mark their attack off. Yeah, from the way that Cumberland played that hard point, I feel like Saints should do a good job of... Looking around the corners as Cootie finds the opening pick on to Pudi there. A nice start for St. Clair now. I look to attack that B site. Cal is the only one holding on to this one. Draken is intimate honor. Looking for maybe a bit of a flank here. But looks like Cootie will get out of danger there. Now Saints looking to push in deep here. Only one member. It's just Cal on this B site. Do Saints know that there's one back there? I think they have to assume so. Cal will find one. But the trade should come through. Plant not going down just yet. But it looks like Seawaz will make his way over to that bomb. In just a second. If they get, can get that one down quickly. Would be a great, great start. Seawaz will not be able to cross but Cootie on the other side of the map picks up honor yet again Saints gonna have a 3-1 scenario plant is going down it's gonna be all up to Draken to pull this one off right I mean with 16 seconds left the Saints are gonna be getting this plant down it should extend their time to about 45 and right now Draken Kalo being found out nice after shot. the first gunfight that calm goes through and they have him dead to rights. It's immediately three players all looking at three separate angles of where he could possibly pop out up from. And even though there were only two, I'm sure they doubled up on a couple. Through the bars is going to be Seawads. Finds a great shot there and he's going to be able to cut down Draken and take another round for the Saints. It's a good round, uh, start for the Saints on the search and destroy. They've started off hot. Now they're going to be on the defense again. I think Cumberland definitely have to do something different uh, this time on the this attack. Let's see which side they decide to go for. B usually tends to be the site that most teams attack. It looks like they will be setting up for this, but they are playing very, very passive Saints. Moving up very, very deep. Rupert does have that SMG. Drake and though does find the first pick onto Seawaz, but Rupert is in a very, very dangerous position up there. You could see how safe Cumberland are playing all the way in their spawn, even on the attack. Definitely a bit feared of the Saints. Right, well, I mean, at least they found the first pick. However, what I will say is that gets put back immediately. Level 3-3 three, three aside right now as Cootie finds another. So, again... Cootie, he's looking pretty good right now. He's just got to kind of sit back, and right now the Saints just got to let the attack come to them. They're not going to be the ones to get aggressive here, because why would you? You can just take that luxury on the defensive side to just listen to all the comms that are going around the map, try to see if you can hear the player sound. I'm sure they've heard the trophy system being put down at some point, and again, it's just going to be a moment here when Cootie is probably going to get this pick on the, t on the person holding the bomb. We'll see how this goes out. He immediately knows the position now. He's called it out. One through the door. Does he 
know about the double stack, though. We'll see. It's going to happen. First one comes through. Second one as well. And no, Cootie has to reload. Doesn't have very much ammo left. But now he oh, has the reload. Lived. Got it off. Oh, he, he needs to drop off the side of the tank, though. And it is going to be Honor picking one up on a nacho as he tried to re-swing in to help his teammate. Now Cootie, in a horrible oh. position, has to try to take the gunfight. Doesn't know about one around the car. It's going to be Honor. Tries to prone down, trying to get that health regen. Rupert dancing around the tank. One above. Does he know? No, not quite. A great job there from Cumberland, and they're going to secure their first round in SND. Great round there from Cumberland Saints, getting a bit too impatient there towards the end. I think Cootie thought the plant was going down, just try to stop that one, give Saints a chance of winning the round. But I think if he just plays a bit more passive, might have a good angle on the plant there. But still, a great round from Cumberland as they get themselves back into this game. Now Saints going to need to keep the aggression on the offense here, see if they can push into a site with relative ease again. Right, I mean, again, I think the the changing of pace there definitely happened when the slides came through the door on the two. They were able to, on Cumberland, able to just get by. And now, early gunfight going down. No one going to be claimed victim just yet, though, as Pudi can't quite find the shots to mark the man in Seawads. And now Ruper trying to see if he can make ends meet. Just stealthing around the map right now. He can just try to play patient. He's waiting for his team to push up, but on the side of Cumberland, they now have the luxury of being able to sit back on the defense. Cal just sitting and looking pretty, making that gun skin do all the talking for him so far as Seawads watches his vertical. Seawads might have a big, big gun fight right here. Ruper does not spot out Cal. I think he sees his head there. Now Saints going to calm that over, but Cal running for his life will be able to stay alive. Saints making a bit of progress on this B site, but no kills coming through here. Ruper does take a bit of damage there from Cal, who's done a great job kind of all by himself slowing down the Saints push. The swing will come through. A lot of damage comes through, but Cal won't find anything there. 30 seconds, though. Saints need to get on their horse here. Honor will look for some shots. Whiffs out too many shots there. Cootie finds one. Rupert finds the second, and Saints have blown this round open. There is a flank coming out from Pudi on this right side. The challenge comes through. He finds one, but the trade is there. Plant should be going down yet again. Saints going to have a 3-1 against Cal, who finds Rupert. Does get out with his life, so... 2v1, plant down. Cal looking for the shots, but it's going to be the kill going over to St. Clair as they take a 3-1 lead. Right, I mean, this is looking really, really good for St. Clair. Again, like we said, SND being their weakest game mode uh, by history. But right now, they're looking very, very strong. And I think what this has to do with is because of the fact that the ability to just calm and trade with each other from those respawn game modes, you know, it doesn't translate as much into SND because you don't have that other player coming back in. Yeah. But again, for the moment in the round, being able to trade out your teammates is huge to make sure that you don't give the other team an untraded pick. Again, and the call out goes out and immediately when you have multiple people stacking in one angle they can just watch and make sure that they can cover your crosses so it's a great job there from St. Clair monitoring that and they're going to be able to pick up yet another one up 3-1 so far as we get into this next round yeah, and it's going to be a 4 on 4 on and B here Saints on the defense Cumberland on the attack here Cal looking for something but Saints no they don't have to push anywhere it's going to be Cumberland who are forced to walk into them but Seawads takes a bit too wide of a swing does get taken down, but the trade is beautiful from Rupert. Takes down Pudi and Nacho finds one. Rupert finds the third. Saints have a 3v1 yet again. Seems like every single round they put themselves in this position, and there's going to be a beautiful round there from Saints. They take the 4 1 lead as they're completely starting to run away with this SD. Right, I mean, that one happened so quick, I didn't even have to say any words on it. I mean, Theo, you covered it absolutely perfectly. It just happened so quick. After I was in my round analysis, you set it up perfectly. It was just a 4 before. They all knew where each other were going to go, and through there, it was just going to be picks on one end, punch, counter punch, and it's going to end up being the Saints who come out on top of it. So 4-1 now on the side of St. Clair. They're looking very, very good. I want to put the highlight on Cootie, who's 8-1 and one right now currently with one plant as well to his name. Doing a great job. Yeah, Cootie having an amazing second map here, but still, job is far from being done. Two more rounds away from closing this second map, and Saints on the attack now. Shots come through. Cal takes a bit of damage, but is able to stay alive I feel like Cal is the big AR player for Cumberland here. Has been finding yeah. half their kills for this map. You know, they have only three. Definitely <laughs> their standout player here. But it's going to be Cootie. Found out first to Draken. It's a nice shot there. As it's going to be a 4v3 for side of Cumberland. Uh, for side of Cumberland, St. Clair. Struggling to find any space here. But a trade maybe 
coming through there. No, it won't be able to be found. Honor it gets out with his life. That's a great, great play. Gets a lot of time off the clock as Saints. It's going to be hard for them to win this one. Right, and I mean, he can just try to play advantage now around the truck. Every gunfight that's going to come his way is going to be short to medium range. So, again, favors that rival nine. We'll see how he makes it work. And right now, Ruper, are they aware of his position from the smoke? I don't believe so. He's in a tough one, though. And, wow, uh -oh. I believe the players are just literally standing right behind him. Slides oh. around the tank. Doesn't even know. Catches honor. Completely baffled. And he's going to be able to pick up the pick there. Now, Plant. 3v3. 10, Ten seconds. seconds left. They have to try to go for a plant. See what the man with the plan right now and he's going to be the man with the plant as well so he's going to have the bomb planted on a dragon trying to slide through but there's nobody there the saints have all tried to play retake oh. around the freezer and it's going Trade to be dragon with the pick the trades nice. come through though and Rupert and Seawads are going to be able to clean that one up for yet another saints win and this puts them on match point I mean they're completely cruising in that 3v3 I think the retake just comes through a little bit too fast for Cumberland too action packed and saints hit from all three Three angles just take them out one by one put themselves on a map point here you know Saints looking really good in the search and destroy right I mean the thing I want to comment on is that plank goes down and immediately all of the Saints players they just vacate they run away they get out of there yeah. right and it baits the Cumberland players in they're thinking they're ready for their gunfight they slide through and they have no idea it's almost as if their worst nightmares have come to reality when they see that site's empty they know oh yep now they have us completely surrounded. So again, a great job of repositioning from the Saints, a master class, one might call even. And now they find themselves on match point because of it. Oh, Let's see how they do angle. on the defense. Kuri spots out a couple, finds some shots, doesn't find the kill. That is a beautiful angle though from Kuri. It's gonna get a bit of damage off, burn some time here for the side of the Saints. They just need to hold on for a minute longer. They have this map wrapped up. It looks like it's gonna be a B push this time from a Cumberland. The Saints have three members set up mid here. Seawad's going to be the only one on this V site. Let's see how Cumberland decide to play this one. Right, I mean, immediately, you know, a great job from Cootie, as we saw before, because he can, with the trigger discipline, call oh. out the positioning as well. He's not going to be able to find that player who was on or sliding through. <sighs> Will he be able to find the second? No, not quite. And now he has to reload, and now the Cumberland players can take this advantage to slide right by him. So a great job there of positioning from Cumberland, and they're going to be able to make it work. Ruper and Seawad's off the board now. Drake and Cal picking up the first two, looking really, really good. As Cumberland oh, nice plant shot. down on B. Nice shot from Nacho, though, and the Saints aren't out of this just yet. Yeah, 2v2. Honor looks for the shots here onto Kuri. That is a hard angle to take, but he makes it alive into through his doorway. Now he needs to just wait for Nacho to come with the follow up. Draken does get spotted out. Kuri has to push in here. 25 seconds and counting for the Saints. They know exactly where these last two members are. It's a game of hide and seek, and there's the first pick for Kuri. Now it's a 2v1. They're going to just sprint at Draken here. They find him. Kuri with beautiful shots there to give the Saints the map 6 to 1 in the search destroy. Right, I mean, there you go. It you go. wasn't looking like a St. Clair round to start out, but they're able to just calm down. They have everything under control. They're able to take the map. And despite what that says over there, no, it is not a Cumberland win, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. That is a St. Clair win. So, again, good job there from our Saints. They head up 2-0 in the series. Yeah, and they have a lot of momentum after that search and destroy. It's going to be control, I think, the third game mode here. And, you know, I think after these first few maps, Saints going to be feeling very, very confident. I definitely expect them to close this one out cleanly. Yeah, I mean, again, when you have these Saints... 2-0 up, it's very hard to take a map off of them. I don't think I've ever seen them get truly reverse swept. I don't think so either. I'm trying to remember if I did in the first year, but I don't believe I did. So, so far, if memory does serve me right, at least from what I've casted, when That's the Saints good. are up 2-0, they have a 100% win rate. And again, control will be our third game. We'll see if the Saints can close out in a sweep or if Cumberland have an answer to fight back to a fourth map. We will find out shortly, though, after a quick break, and we'll be back with you very soon.
Absolutely. And here we go on control. Let's get it going. First picks may be coming in. No, not quite just yet. We're going to have to wait just a little bit longer. And there we are. It's going to be Ono, Honor, sorry, onto Nacho for the first pick. Oh. Siwa's looking for the trade up, but it's not going to happen. Rupert's going to be able to find one on a Cal, but then Honor's going to cut down Siwa. It's Pootie onto Rupert. And so far, Cumberland looking hot. Cootie trying to find the double, but not quite. He's going to get cut down by Draken. Yeah, out the gun swinging are Cumberland getting some good, good picks to start off the map, but Nacho and Siwa's gonna find a couple in their favor. Gonna look to maybe attack this A site from the look of things. Cal can't find anything up at the middle. Nacho gonna find one, but Rupert and Cootie gonna be quick to fall here. They might get a tick on this B site. Cal has a great, great angle here. Gonna almost find the kill. Goes for the long chase. It's going to get shot in the back, however, and will get taken out, but does find the trade before that happens. It's a great job from Cumberland so far on the defense. Right, I really like what I'm seeing so far. However, what I will point out is that St. Clair are trying to build on control as well as the fact of building on picks. Even though they are losing the picks battle right now, they've clawed it back within two. However, are they aware of Honor's position? No, it's a great job right there from Cumberland. And right now, they up the kill difference back up to three. Make that four right now as Honor's going to sweep through and he's putting on a master class of skill right now. Cal able to find one as well. It's looking all Cumberland first round and with only 10 10 seconds left and the difference of seven this first round is going to be probably all she wrote barring a miracle yeah. it's going to be st Clair taking the loss cumberland taking the round a great job as cal puts on a clinic and it's going to be cumberland with the first round i mean that was an absolutely amazing round from cumberland they showed they're not going down without a fight and just annihilated the saints on that defense to be fair saints couldn't find anything they had a couple members just getting spawn trapped it felt like for a couple seconds and every kill on defense is so much more valuable than a kill on offense they were just able to stop the saints from taking anything as saints didn't really group up and go for a single side i think next time on their attack they might look to do so right i mean i immediately just talk about the fact that when we see these saints now in a weird scenario where they don't trade their kills back, right? I mean, that was that was odd. You don't usually see that. Yeah. And I gotta say, shout out to Cal and Honor. They were really making the Saints pay there on every little bit that they, every every little foot that they took. Seawad's going to be able to find the first two though on that MCW. Going to be taken down is Honor by, or sorry, Honor taking down Ruper, and then Seawad's going to be able to refrag him. So Seawad's right now starting off a little triple before he gets taken oh. down by Drake, and it's going to be Nacho and Cootie who light up the kill board. And now it is going to be St. Clair who are going to start to look at what point they can probably control first. And it seems like the way they're stacking up, especially with that kill coming through, they're going to look to start taking progress on to B. Yeah, I mean, Saints doing a great job of defending so far. Cumberland cannot find any progress. The Saints have moved deep into the spawn, but Rupert does finally fall down. There's a couple wow. picks for Cumberland. That's going to open up the map massively here. Nacho does find one back, but does get taken out. This B point now can have at least a tick on it. Cootie, though, has something to say about that one, but doesn't find any kills Jump on that down. entry. That's a nice shot there from Cumberland. They get one tick on this B side. It's going to be all members from both teams looking to fight in this one. Second tick coming through in just just a second. Rupert is taken down. So does Seawald. Cumberland should be able to cap this one. It's all three kills go over to Cumberland. Now they might start over looking at that A site. Right, I mean, I cannot believe what I'm seeing right now. It, the Saints were ahead so much in the kill difference, but now it's going to be Cal and Honor. Who oh my! Ahead, and that's not good. You don't want to see a player like that go down. But now, with that being said, Cumberland also taking B control, as you were pointing out, are now going to start building on A. The Saints not looking good. And right now, I got to say, I don't know if Cumberland just a really good control team or if high rise is their map maybe a combination of both maybe they have these saints figured out maybe they've done their film study on them T but right now theo as tks go down it's looking all nightmare scenario for the saints cumberland they're looking oh so dominant and if this keeps on going for any longer honestly we might be seeing a map four very soon yeah it doesn't look like saints can even get out of their spawn on or just single-handedly gonna hold the whole <laughs> saints team here <laughs> another team call from rupert and it looks like this a will be captured maybe one final contest here will come through one kills goes down Rupert actually gets on the site Saints get three kills back so they put themselves in a position to win this round from what looked like it was going to be an impossible task 12 lives to 10 I think the lives might be a crucial part of the round here let's see if Honor can find any kills here Rupert gonna walk up will be able to stay alive though it lives again as Honor looks for those kills but Rupert does a great job of just staying alive now he has this angle locked down honor 
Gonna move away from uh, that one. But gonna be deep in the enemy territory. No kills coming through for a while here. Ruper is the first oh, one yeah, to break that oh spawn. God, up. See what gets a second. Nacho falls down, but Kuri finds the trade. It's gonna be all on to honor. Last one alive. Pretty deep position here at 2 HP. Will be able to survive. And that's a huge, huge live save there. As Ruper almost gets the worst time he ever stays alive. Sea Wads will be taken down. But now on the flip side, Kuri finds one. Ruper falls down as well. Not many lives remaining. Only 28 seconds left. There's going to be a miracle needed here for either side to take the round. Right. And I mean, again, you know, St. Clair, you would think you're going to try to maybe just stop oh, that A point. Fine. But they got to focus on kills right now. And it's going to be Sea Wads and Nacho. We're going to do just that. Saints in control right now. And now 5-5. Five, five. No respawns remaining for the side of St. Clair. Cumberland, they've mounted the comeback slightly. And now on both sides, it's going to be sudden death. Cal able to cut down Sea Wads. It's going to be the first one lost on the side of the Saints. Dancing around the objective. All right. Everyone. Taken down, and oh my god, the kill board going off for Saints. Kuri with a double, Nacho with one as well. And now, with five seconds left to go, it's looking at all Saints, only Pootie alive. St. Clair, how'd you pull that one off? Great round there from the Saints. Felt like on the brink of going down to old. We're definitely in a very rough scenario, but I think they're gonna get a lot of momentum after that round. They were down in kills, they were down two ticks on that side, but some hero plays definitely saved them there. And now, switching sides, they both teams can forget the last two rounds. The only rounds that matter are the ones ahead. Tied up at one apiece. Now it's just the best of three. Right, I mean... Here we go. We got a game on our hands. That was an absolutely electric last round of control. But now on to the next, as if both sides have parted the ways, as now it is one all. They have to try to find any advantage to start off strong here on the side of either team. 30 to 30 left, and it's going to be Cumberland who mount the first little bit of control onto B. Yeah, Saint's gonna find the opening pick though. Rupert takes that one. Kuri finds one more. Honor does come into the back, finds one, but it's four for three. Three for three. One member left on each side. And Saints with an unsuccessful first push as Cumberland have doing a great job defensively here. Seawad looking to stay alive here. Will we be able to do so? But Cumberland are up a life very, very early on. Rupert finds a huge pick, but Nacho does get taken down. Looks like Saints might want to move towards this A side a little bit. Draken finds Finds a kill there, huge kill onto Seawads. Will give so much room for the Saints to work with, but Rupert does find the trade, does put out a second, does get taken down. Nacho gonna look for those shots across the map, and Kuri finds one as well, but Puri so stops the push on the A side of Saints, dropping like flies. Right, I mean, he's gonna get the double off the Semtex as well, dropping the trophy system now, and he's gonna be dancing around the stairs. It's gonna be Rupert who's gonna be able to shut his lights off, though. Cal being shut down by Seawads as well. And with 20 seconds left, this is really odd. Not a a very intense game as we saw from last time. Lots of lives still oh, good on control and it's good for the Saints. They just need to build progress. They're doing exactly just that. They have most of the control on B now and with them having the life advantage by two, they can try to play this a little more passively, keep their zone control. They have point B secure. Now they got to build on A and again, it's actually going to be Cumberland who beats them to the punch. Interesting job here from Cumberland and now uh, only down by two, I will say with a minute left and the timer extended, it's going to be looking good now again for St. Clair. It's going to be Cootie oh, around the top. He's going to find one as well, helping out his teammate Ruper, who we just saw there, not quite able to get the pick, but it doesn't matter. Your teammate's got your back there. Pootie dancing around, and he's going to be able to just dodge out that gunfight. We're on just a little bit of a stalemate here, but I'm sure it's going to open up wide any second now. Yeah, they get one tick. Cootie looking for the wall bang there, but uh, Rupert does find one. Finds a second. Nacho finds a third, and now Saints are in the spawn of Cumberland. They should get a second tick here as they do. That's a complete team wipe. One one final defense here from Cumberland's gonna come through. Siwaz finds a huge kill while Stun is able to stay alive, but that nade finds a couple of Saints members. Cumberland do withstand one more push, but only nine lives remaining. I think it's gonna get a bit rough for them here. Saints look for a full reset. It's gonna be only Ruper who is deep in enemy territory in their spawn. This flank could completely change the game here. Siwaz does find one as Ruper. Very, very, oh my god, a double team kill what? with uh, with the <laughs> cruise <laughs> missile. That that Red is, missile? That That's is, either got to be troll or something's is, gone completely wrong there. Good. Like someone's controller must have DC'd. Cootie's going to be able to find I, two though. And I think the Saints maybe have just done a little bit of trolling. They have most of the control. They're up by quite a lot. Rupert four, uh, able to find lives. one as well. No more respawns on the side of Cumberland. They got to try to make ends meet. And no, Nacho going to hunt down Honor. That's the first one down. Second one as well. Cootie getting the pick. And it's going to be St. Clair who are going to take this third round. 
I can God, just the, I don't know. Look, there's not really many words. I mean, I, I want to say that was like probably a BM. I'll be so real there. Uh, just the double pred missile troll. Um, could be. But yeah, you know, could be. Could, could be not a, be. Who could knows? Could be a misclick. Yeah. I, I don't know. I hope not. <laughs> misinput. I hope it wasn't misinput. That's <laughs> not a good time to have a misinput, but does not matter in the end. Saints do take the round, and now they are on defense. I think defense is definitely the easier side on this game mode, so Saints have the whole game in their hands, should be looking to close out the map here. Right, I mean, Cootie's just had an unbelievable series so far. He's 23-15 and 15 right now, leading the Saints on picks by quite a few, as I believe the next closest is Nacho on 18 and 16. So Honor going to be able to pick up the first blood, and he's really been the heavy hitter on the side of Cumberland, so the Saints going to try to see if they can keep him quiet, but so far they've not been able to do so. On the other side, though, Cootie has been absolutely fiending for more. He's going to find yet another one as well. Mark him on 25 right now, and he's close to 30. Yeah, very close to those streaks. Does fall down. Seawads is on a three kill streak. Streak. gonna look to get some streaks himself it's gonna be Cumberland though getting a lot of kills but Saints every single kill matters and Seawalds is in their spawn and because he's in so deep it stops the push from Cumberland's gonna be only one member on this B site will get taken down nice shot there from Nacho as well Cootie finds one wow. and that's a clean sweep for the Saints now they're gonna get all the way up the map and look to spawn trap Cumberland here oh couple shots from Rupert comes through almost finds the third is not gonna be able to oh. find it almost gets it there but still every Every single kill in the spawn matters. If Nacho found one there, would have been crucial, but does fall down. Kuri does find the trade, though, on to honor. Another trade comes through. Seawad's going to fall down. Kuri able to stay alive here. Cumberland have 20 seconds to f get something going. Kuri does fall down. Looks like the B push is going to be the site they go for. Right, I mean, honestly, the team kill again coming through is actually going to be Pudi on the cow. That's really unusual. Is that a trophy, trophy. <laughs> symbol? Yeah. Did he throw a trophy system on him by accident and kill him from that? Maybe on low health? I don't exactly know. But now it's going to be Cal who finds the pick on to Cootie. With 12 seconds left, though, they have to find control to try to stop the clock so they can build back these lives that they are back on the deficit. So now, Seawads, it's a great play from him. Good repositioning. Has the drop shot. Can he find it? No, not quite. The wall bang coming in from Cal. Nacho able to find Cal as well. The trade back. The slide through from Cootie. He's going to be able to find oh. the two. Tell me he's going to be able to pick up the third. No, not quite. Just misses both Cumberland players crossing paths to sight lines. He's not going to be able to find another one. He's going to get picked off by Cal. But again, it might be too little too late on the side of Cumberland. They're now having half the lives as St. Clair. This one is probably going to be all she wrote. Seawads with a double to his name. And right now, it seems like St. Clair are going to take this series, this map, 3-1, 3-0, clean sweep. St. Clair get the job job done but if you were watching in game on paper it might look like a saint sweep in game very different very close hard point is very, very close search and destroy not so much that control game i mean those first two rounds could have gone cumberland's way saints had some heroics mm -hmm. to clutch it up there but they do take the series 3-0 and let's take a look at the final score but you can see how uh, evenly this match saints 21 20 23 29 for kuri definitely having a great great map there and cal on the flip side was the top fragger there saints just found the big plays in the big moments and i think that's the main reason they took the series right i mean i gotta say that control game for a 3-1 was probably the closest 3-1 you'll ever really see uh again you gotta give it to cumberland they really showed out and uh made the saints gave them a run for their money so again really close series there from st Clair and cumberland but it is ultimately going to be the saints who were just able to eke out every single game on the win at the end of the day big shout outs to cootie he is personally to me my mvp so far of what we've seen he dominated search dominated control and even on on the hard point while he didn't go positive he had by far the most control time and we did point out that i believe his picks on that hard point game were the ones that were the most impactful to allow St. Clair to take control over the map. Absolutely. A great match from the Saints, but that is not it for them today. They have a second match coming up. We're going to throw it to a quick, quick break, but we'll be right back with our second matchup.